Hi guys. Now we're gonna start section 15.4, marine ecosystems. In the previous lesson, we were talking about land biomes. In this lesson, we are gonna start aquatic ecosystems. Aquatic ecosystems are classified into marine ecosystems and freshwater ecosystems. What's the difference between marine ecosystems and freshwater ecosystems? The difference in the salinity of water. Salty water, marine ecosystems. Freshwater, freshwater ecosystems. If I asked you, where can I find marine ecosystems? So obviously, you will tell me in ocean and seas. But actually, the ocean is the largest water body. So do you think the ocean consists of only one zone with homogeneous climatic, uh, with homogeneous abiotic and biotic factors? Same communities can live in all the areas of the ocean. Of course not. The ocean is divided into zones. What are those zones? The first zone is the intertidal zone. From its name, it's intertidal, so it's exposed to tide. High tide and low tide. Starting from the end of the intertidal zone till the neuritic zone, till the uh, continental shelf, it's the neuritic zone. Intertidal zone and neuritic zone, both of them in coastal ocean. After coastal ocean, open ocean, all this blue area, open ocean, and open ocean composed of two main zones, starting from the neuritic zone till the base of the continental shelf, it's the bathial zone, after 2000 meters till the ocean floor, it's the abyssal zone. Intertidal zone is the area that is exposed to high and low tide. Look, here is the intertidal zone and the coast, neuritic zone, then oceanic zone, which contain bathial and abyssal. Which zone is it? It's the intertidal zone. How did you know? Because some areas are exposed to air, other areas are covered with water, and even the areas that are covered with water, sometimes they are not covered with water so which abiotic factors are affecting organisms that are living there number one exposure to sunlight exposure to air exposure to wave action and finally change in salinity because of the difference water the different water level as i told you after intertidal zone there is neuritic zone neuritic zone is the zone which is characterized by the highest biodiversity in among ocean zones so the neuritic zone harbors more biomass than any other zone why because the neuritic zone contains planktons what are planktons? Planktons are organisms that make up most of the biomass. So most of the biomass, uh, 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 most of the biomass is from planktons. Planktons are producers or consumers. Actually, there are two types of planktons: zooplanktons and phytoplanktons. Zooplanktons are zoo, so tiny animals. So zooplanktons are consumers phytoplanktons from phyto from photosynthesis so phytoplanktons are algae and photosynthetic bacteria and the phytoplanktons are producers the neuritic zone also in the neuritic zone we can find coral reefs coral reefs what are coral reefs animals that live in a mutualistic relationship with algae the mutualistic relationship means both both organisms benefit corals get the benefit by getting nutrients from algae and algae also inhabit corals where can we find coral reefs coral reefs in the warm areas or in the tropical climatic zone also, in the cold areas or in the temperate climatic zone, we can find kelp. Look at those green, brown algae, brown algae, kelp. 
The kelp forest, considered as a habitat for many species and organisms, and food also for many organisms. So, kelp forest, like coral reefs, they are important for the biodiversity in the neuritic zone because many species can inhabit the area where coral reefs and kelp forests exist. If I told you what the difference between coral reefs and kelp forest, they are different in the climatic zone where they live. Coral reefs in warm areas in tropical climatic zone, while kelp forest in temperate uh, climatic zones or cold areas. After that, let's talk about, more about the bathyal. Look at the bathyal zone. This is the bathyal zone here, where we can find shark and large creations, large fishes. It's the turbid zone due to the accumulation of salt, which is one of the components of the soil. After that, when we go deep, deep in ocean, it is the abyssal zone. Here, in the abyssal zone, as I told you, is the area starting from, or the zone starts from 2,000 meters till the ocean floor. It's the darkest zone, so organisms should be adapted to darkness, should be adapted to live without uh, sunlight. So how can producers produce their own food in this zone? by chemosynthesis, which is the use of chemicals uh, due, uh, that uh, are resulted from uh, uh, volcanic vents in the production of their own foods. How can creations like angular fish uh, communicate there and how can they attract mates by producing bioluminance or glowing?